another RV review for you today we are going to do the 2020 Flagstaff Microlite 25 FKS very cool trailer and we're excited to do it for you and we want to remind you that this trailer is exactly the same as the Rockwood so at the end we'll put up a link to the construction nuts and bolts of the Rockwood Flagstaff and you can go check it out too. So just if any of you are out there trying to compare the two, quit. You don't need to, they're exactly the same. <laughs> I don't know why they do that, but they do. So the construction video we'll link to at the end. And in this video, we're gonna take you on a tour. So remember everything we're telling you is just mine and Corey's opinion based on all the research that we do. And of course, if you are an owner and you'd like to share something with us, do that in the comments. Don't forget to subscribe. And as always, get that resource that we use to help out with all sorts of your research, different models, years, manufacturers, rbreviews.com. We'll put the link in the description below and you can check that out too and get all the information you need. So now, Let's go take a look at this trailer. We're going to do the outside first and then we'll go inside just like we always do. Uh, we've got some 30 pound propane tanks. Two, I would assume, are in there. And you get an electric jack here at the front. So thanks, we need that, right? And then as we're coming around, you notice to the uh, gorgeous, because I love them, front windows. And it's very unique and curved. Uh, and I talk about that some more in the construction video, but it is an automotive glass, so it, it does really handle being at the front of a trailer quite well. You get some rock guard here. Um, it's pretty solid. I, I guess I'd like it to be a little higher, but it's there, and that's important, right? Um, I'm no, and you get your lights, of course. Noticing down here, uh, you do get the electric stabilizer jacks. So that'll be just of a push of a button, maybe on the other side. And that's super handy. Uh, outdoor shower. Can't open it, but there is an outdoor shower in there. This unit does have a slide. So that's, you know, these days, even small trailers have slides and they're using them in the making so much space inside. It is a uh, rack and pinion slide which is of course very appropriate. Let's go down because I want to show you some things underneath this particular trailer. Ugh, because of the floor plan, you can see that there is a drain and valve right here at the front. So I know that's what the FKS is. It's a front kitchen. So even though this looks like a black drain, it's actually a gray drain, but it needs to be this size so that you can hook your hose onto it, right? So it is there. But I also want to show you way up underneath here, um, <laughs> if you guys can see it, the, the tank and the piping you can see right here. So that's where they join. Underneath that, there's this little piece right here. That is a heating pad to heat your tanks. So that's a good thing. But I was going, wait a minute, how come I can see the tank and the heating pad and stuff? Isn't this supposed to have an enclosed underbelly? It does. And you can see it starting right here. So I'm thinking that the piece like this just is not in this front piece right now. So they would need to put that in for you. And you can see it back here. Come back with me. Do you need to come around? <laughs> so coming back to this one, you now can see that you get a black and a gray. So this will probably be near the bathroom somewhere. And you can see that the underbelly's there and this, although a little goopy, is um, fully sealed and enclosed there. Also, while we're down here, uh, you probably can't see it, but don't forget that the Rockwood Flagstaffs have a torsion axle. So go to the construction video to learn a little more about that because it's a pretty good axle system. Okay, let's move on over to tires while we're down here. <laughs> They are a Castle Rock ST, ST205 slash 75R14. I don't know what that means, but hopefully it gives you some information. 
The other thing I want to show you is over here on this uh, flange that comes down off of the slide, there's a little bit of extra support. And I really like that because often, you've probably seen it too, you're driving down the road and you can see some of these things that are loose and flappy and this is gonna give it some extra support and it's quite strong, I like that. And I see that here too, this seems like a fairly strong uh, piece. So I like that. You do get thermal pane windows, yay! Two thumbs up for that, we like it. And coming down a little further, you have a fresh water drain under here and you can see that it looks like the others. It's a different hose, but it's got a white valve, fresh water, and again, up in the underbelly there. Let's go take a look at the storage compartment over here. First of all, I like the fact that their magnet stays up and out of the way. It goes way back that way and the other way. So that's pretty handy space. Now, let's go back to the end of the trailer where I can show you a couple other things. Here's your 30 amp connection right there. And then underneath, again, you can see your electric stabilizer jacks. So convenient. Push a button and you're good to go. So back here, you have a ladder to your fully walkable roof. And while you're up there, you can see they've got quite the good sized uh, little ease trough dripper things to push the water away from the side. I like those. Also, you've got a tank flush right here. And you've got your spare tire back here, which I do like just because it's easy to access when you need it. And you also have a hitch. I'm not exactly sure what the weight on that hitch is, but if I can find it, I'll include it. And you get another storage back here. That's what? right. I think it is. Oh, check that out. Holy. Look at that. I mean, it's a little wiggly when it's way out here, so you wouldn't want to put too much heavy stuff here, but you definitely could put heavier stuff back there. Someone was thinking, hey, that is really cool. I've not seen that before. And then it does, it does lock in place. So that's very cool. Uh, your water fill and your city connection, cable, satellite. It is uh, wired for a backup camera if that's what you're looking for. All right, let's come around here. Here is that button for those uh, electric jacks that are down there. And here is a tap. Okay, so you can hook up a hose here and run that. I mean, you do have the outdoor shower up at the front on the other side, but You've got that there too, so that's handy. A big awning. I'll see if I can get the size on that. Ooh, I see it. It has LED lighting. And then you've got another compartment here. Let's see what it is. Oh, okay. So you get an outdoor kitchen. Now it's a smaller one, but this is a pretty small trailer, right? So let's see what you get. So you're getting a cooktop. Yep, two burners. That's a propane hookup, so there's storage there. So I'm guessing somewhere, yep, there is a propane uh, connection here. So that's cool. Ouch, watch the knuckles. Small fridge, but it'll do. You can put condiments or more than likely beer or something in there. <laughs> but that's great. You also get the rail so somewhere there's probably a table that hooks into this rail. Um, I'm, I'm always, I wish I could see this hooked up because if it's actually this high, that seems like a pretty high table, but maybe it slides in and sits down. I'm not 100% sure on that. So if anybody knows, if you're an owner out there, please share that with us. You do get outdoor uh, speakers. You get a hook up that you could bring your TV out and slip it in here and use it. Uh, there's electric and there's a cable hookup, so that makes sense, right? Then you get my favorite thing. You guys have heard it all before. I love these stairs. These are the Step Above brand and in they go. Nice and simple and even for me they just come right out. 
you can level them down here at the bottom if you're on uneven ground. They're just wonderful. Come, let's look up here in this compartment. So that's more storage. I mean, it's small, but it's more storage. And I've noticed that it has some lighting up in there. And here's that other uh, button for those jacks. And it is all uh, pre-ready wired and things if you want solar. So that's handy. Let's talk about the door. I'm noticing, first of all, indeed, it's a friction door, so I love that. I like that it has the thing so it doesn't hit, or is it? Oh, it is. No, I don't think it is hitting. And it also has this, if you want to use it, to keep the door open. Just remember, if you've hooked it up, <laughs> don't forget to unhook it. And your screen door is the self-closer. So I like that. Oh, and let me climb up here to show you that it does have the little screen there. And as I've complained about before, you got to come out here and stand on the steps outside the screen door. You can't do it from inside to manage that. But nonetheless, it's there. And I love having a window in the door, so that'll be good. Now, let's hook that back up. Let's go inside. Come on. <laughs> Look at this thing. This is so cool. This is a small trailer, yet, I mean, remember, it's not teeny small like some of the ones we've reviewed, but it's not a gigantic trailer and you get all this space. I mean, look at this. <laughs> Isn't this not wonderful? This window is providing an awesome view and so much light. I'm just, I'm in love with it. I'm in love with it. Okay, so first things I wanna show you, when I came in, so first of all, I like the size of this opening and there's some hooks and stuff here for jackets. What I noticed is that your panel to control lights, awnings, uh, water stuff is all right here. So as a kid is coming in, you know their hand is here and here. <laughs> so that would be something that I would be careful of because that's just, normal hands go on things when they come in electric so you do get a microwave oh hang on there we go way the heck up there um yeah that doesn't work for me first of all it's a very small microwave but that's okay because you do have an oven but that's way too high i can't even see in there i suppose i could if i still stood back there but like i can't see i can't reach that doesn't work for me. Then you got your vent. Let's take a look. This is a suburban stove with a cover over the top, but you got so much counter soap space, it doesn't even matter. You can fold that back and that becomes a bit of a backsplash. You've got three uh, gas propane uh, burners, which is nice. And then look at this fancy oven. This is, it's the Elite Series Suburban. This is really nice. That's a pretty decent sized oven. Like, look at how high it is. It's beautiful. And then, down here is a nice drawer. I mean, it's, um, it's a bit low, but you wanna fit stuff in there, and the oven is the feature here, for sure. Very nice. Then, I mean, look at all this countertop space. In the corner there, you've got the pop-up uh, plug and USB which is super handy. I mean, you can put coffee maker or those kinds of appliances and you get another window. I just am in love with all that. And there's some little cubby type storage up there. Then, let's see. Um, so these are pretty high for me, but I mean, I can reach them. Uh, it's rounded up there, so you're not gonna fit too tall of, of things, but it's good. And it goes all the way through like there's no divider in there and these are pretty solid uh cabinet doors hey hear that okay i'm just in love with this window and you know that and i'm going to try not to dwell on it too much but that is just fabulous you get a divided stainless double undermount sink that's also nice 
um, average tap, just an average. But loving that the uh, covers are there because, well, it offers you more countertop like you need it. But anyway, <laughs> that's the thing I always want them for. This is a solid surface counter and it's beautiful. No seams, it's just plain old beautiful. Let's take a look in these. Okay, so these are more like your sponge compartments. And then you get a good cupboard space, even though it's under the sink. Um, it only goes back about that much there, so you're not gonna lose stuff back there. So that's pretty decent. Then you're getting four um, quite deep drawers on the uh, nice metal roller gliders. Another one. So I like those and pantry space, more pantry. Now, if I were being picky, I'd ask for a light to be in there and I would like to have pullouts in there, but I get it. But you can put bins in there so that you can just reach stuff easily, pull it out and use it. And I mean, when you pull something out of there, you get all this countertop space to put it on. I love that. Also down here, you've got more electrical. So there's a fair amount. And then you move around over to the slide. So again, I mean, it's only got this one slide. It's not even that huge of a slide, but it sure offers a lot of extra space. So this, of course, is going to make down into a bed. It's a nice U-shaped dinette, which I really like. Let's check out the storage here. Oh, it's a drawer. I love drawers. It's a deep drawer. This would be where my pots and pans would be going. I like that. Uh, yeah, no, I don't love carpet, but that's the life of slides these days. Um, they're saying it's a stain and soil resistant carpet. Okay, never seen one. <laughs> you can't stain. The floor is really nice. I like the lightness of it. It's a nice vinyl floor. There's no seams or anything. Um, I'll show you over there, but the ducting for furnace is not in the floor system. It's among the furniture, so that's cool. So this table system has a little lock thing there, and then it just folds down. Oops, it folds down into that. And of course the cushions would be out of the way. And then it goes nice and flat on those faces. You fill in the rest of the cushions and it works, but it's quite simple. Then you pull it up, you step on the bottom, and it clicks back into place. Make sure the lock is there. <laughs> this was actually quite an easy table to manage and um, it's not that heavy. Just got to, you know, get in the flow. See, you can access underneath there through here, but it's not necessary when it's this drawer. Let me have a seat. Uh, pretty comfy. Lots of space in there. Blinds. Pretty decent. Um, now, this is a good seat. You just want to make sure the table's pushed out far enough so that you can fit whomever is going to be back here. But it is a comfortable enough seat. You do have these two windows as well for airflow. And yeah, that opens as well. And it opens, so these are sliding up windows and this is the turning type that's going to flick out. So they're nice. I like it. And there's just so much space in here. Like you could, if it's rainy day, you could bring in a few lawn chairs and have even more people in. Down here you get another drawer. Loving that. And then even though we're in this small trailer base model, you get an electric fireplace. How cool is that? I love those. You get a uh, 32 inch LED TV, which I think is plenty. Uh, you've got a little bit of storage up here, um, but you know, that's where a little more wiring and things would go for a solar system. Then over to the fridge, not sure what size it is, but it's pretty big, I think and it's got a separate freezer which is a bit high but i can reach it just fine so i'm good with that and it's nice and cool 
<laughs> Down here you can see the uh, ducting for the furnace through there. And then up here is where your air conditioning is and there is ducting in the ceiling for that. So that's great too. Now, come on back. I love that there's a window here because it just adds extra light. And then let's go into the bathroom. Smaller bathroom, but again, smaller trailer. Um, you do get a door on a hinge, which is not my favorite thing, but it's sometimes pretty hard to put pocket doors in depending on electrical and things because I can see that the switches are in that wall. So that's just the way it is. Uh, you get a Donetic. Um, I think that's a... Sounds porcelain. It does sound porcelain. Foot flush and a lot of storage. So that's nice. Uh, AC is in here. Uh, vent in here. So here at the vanity, um, your sink is not the smallest that we've seen and not the biggest, which is probably just right because it leaves you some countertop space. Uh, average taps, you got this little extra shower here. You get uh, the mirror and some storage. So that was decent. Uh, you get plug in down here and more storage there. So not bad, right? Let's check out the shower. So it's got glass. Oh, okay, let me go inside because that gives you an idea of how big it is. Uh, first things I wanna mention, it has the Aquamizer um, system, which keeps you from wasting water as you wait for it to get warm. It just recirculates while it gets warm. So this is what we're talking about for space. Okay, so hopefully that helps folks out. Um, and it does have the skylight, so that gives you a little more headroom if you're taller. Um, this is a plastic. Uh, okay, so the base and the walls are separate pieces and they are the click together type stuff that I don't love, but it is what is standard. And then this is all one piece. So really it's a two piece shower unit plus the doors. Okay, let's go look at the bedroom. So we got more lighting here in the hallway. Uh, looks like you get a queen size mattress, which is nice. Um, but I just wanna show you that this is as far as you can go uh, up the bed. So things I love, this is great nightstand. You can fit it lots on there. Plus you've got electric here. But then there's this piece right here that you can't get past. So for me, um, to get at this closet, I would have to climb up on the bed. And it would also be a bit of a bugger to reach that corner for making. Not that it's not doable. I love these big windows. Very nice. Uh, TV hookup up there. I'm not sure what we've got here. We have seen this once before where the door is actually hinged on both sides. So I'm not sure what's behind there, but obviously something important. I kind of think it has something to do with electrical because I remember from the stuff outside, plus there is another um, electric hookup and USB port thing there. Let's check out what's under this bed because it's a bit high, hey? Mm -hmm. little too high for us um, okay so there's storage here which also has drawers in it and also the furnace ducting is there now remember there's no slide in this bedroom it just is this so next let's go look at over here now you can get a lot closer to the head of the bed here. So that makes this much easier for making um, and reaching into that closet. I mean, the, the rod's really high, but we would just lower that. Um, and this side also has a drawer and electric. And there's storage up here. Can you guys see in there? Does that go all the way through? <laughs> uh, yes, it does. So, yeah. 
you have to climb up on the bed, but that's not unusual in a bedroom, right? And you've got vent here, you've got AC ducting, you've got LED lighting, and you've got speakers. So again, this is a, a 25 FKS, and it has one slide. It's got everything you could want. It's got huge, beautiful windows. It's got wonderful common space. I love it. Let's go take a look, if the slide were brought in, what you could get at. Come on. So in looking at the depth of the slide across here, I think that's going to come out to about here. Uh, and it's pretty close to here. So I'm going to say that with the slide in, now again, I'm just guesstimating this, but with the slide in, when you come in the door, you're going to have access to your refrigerator and your stove and your sink. You could make this bed up and you might be able to squeak by very tightly into the bathroom. I'm not sure about that. If you could, then you, if you could squeak by here, you could also have access to the bedroom. But I'm kind of thinking that it's going to come out to about here and it's going to be fairly tight, right? That's kind of a bummer that way. But let's take a look at the numbers and go from there. Next, let's talk about the numbers for the 2020 Flagstaff Microlite 25 FKS. <laughs> How's that for a mouthful? Alrighty, the brochure tells me the unloaded vehicle weight is 5,281 pounds, but remember you have to include the cargo carrying capacity in that of 1,523 pounds. Um, the dry hitch weight, 644. The dry axle weight, uh, 4,510. The length, hitch to bumper, 25 feet, 11 inches. The width is 96 inches. The height outside with the AC on, 131 inches. And the interior height in here, which is a flat roof, is 80 inches. The fresh water capacity is 58 gallons. The gray water is 60 gallons and the black is 30 gallons. Now, just a couple other extra numbers. The dinette bed makes up to be 44 by 85. And the bed in the back is 60 by 74. And the awning outside that we were talking about is a 17 foot awning. The price here at Country Camping in Salmon Arm Remember, so we're talking Canadian dollars here in British Columbia. You can get this trailer today for $43,900. And she's a beaut. So I'm in love with it and I'd drive off the lot with it if I could. Um, so maybe you will too. Hope you liked this one. Give us a thumbs up and a like. Don't forget to hit subscribe. Thanks for coming.